Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Um, as you know, the, the one build was released recently, um, in fact, what, a day or two ago, um, and already Retrobat have released uh, an update. It's a minor update, so obviously the build was based on version 6.2. They've now released version 6.2.1. So it's not really, a, I guess, a new version as such. It's just, um, I guess, some updates and fixes, um, just some minor ones. So just gonna quickly show you how to do it. Um, obviously it's completely safe to do it. I've tested it with the build already, so we know, we know it works and doesn't cause any issues. Um, so basically, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. It's nice and easy, um, quite straightforward. You do it within Retrobat itself. Um, so let's fire Retrobat. So what I'm gonna do quickly first, this is obviously purely for, for me for recording is, and you know, this might be helpful if you wanna run Retrobat not full screen, run it in a in a, in a a window instead. So this is the Retrobat Ini in the root of the uh, Retrobat folder. A couple of sort of general system-wide settings in here. Um, uh, just for speed, so you can turn off the intro video. At the moment we have some random videos playing. Um, uh, on that, shout out to Scotty Retro who created those. I grabbed a load of those from his uh, <coughs> from his, his site. Really good, so uh, thank you for that, Scott. Um, the other one is full screen. We'll set this to zero. So it basically means it'll run in a window. Uh, and then down here, <coughs> you can set the size of the window it's going to run in. So I've just got it running at, at 720. We'll just click save on that. Obviously. My system's got Notepad++ installed, so it's installed it in here, uh, opened it in here, which I you know, find really handy for, for text files, etc. But if you haven't got it, you can just open this <coughs> in Notepad. It just looks, I guess, a little bit different, but same idea. <coughs> so anyway, you can ignore that a bit if you don't need to. So launch, uh, we'll launch RetroBat. As you can see, <clears throat> it's running in a window now. This is purely for me to be able to record it easier rather than going full screen because I have got a, a rather large ultra wide monitor and it might make it a bit a bit hard for people to read and see. So I tend to, to do it in a, in a video, uh, in a window like this for the video. So just let this finish loading. Hopefully yours loads a bit quicker than mine. Mine's on a, on sort of a large slow drive. It does take a couple of seconds to actually uh, start up and check all the uh, all the ROMs. And of course, I'm recording the video at the same time, so that does uh, does slow down a little bit. <clears throat> but we're getting there. Okay, right, it's up and running. Uh, so what you can see, uh, I'm just going to turn down the volume because what you probably can't hear and I can hear in my ears is <laughs> deafening music. Um, so I'm just going to turn down the system volume just all the way down just so I can hear myself think. <laughs> okay. And let's come back out of there. Okay, you did notice at the top when we first launched, there was a message at the bot uh, at the top of the screen saying that 6.2.1 was available. So to install this, quite simple. I'm using a keyboard, so I hit the Enter key. If you're using a gamepad, I think it's the, the B button, the back button, uh, to bring this up. And then we'll go down to updates and downloads. And just to confirm, you can kind of see here, I'm running. Well, the build is currently 6.20. So we'll just go into updates and downloads. Um, the update type I'd all recommend probably just leaving as stable. You can change this to beta, so as they are working on beta, you know the next version, maybe you know, for 6.3, they'll release beta versions with a kind of work in progress. Um, <clears throat> so you can kind of test them out for them and and, and feedback any issues. But for this, I'd, I'd stand stable. Um, when you're ready, you hit start update. And we know there's one available because it's already told us. So now it's just going off to check. And then, yeah, it's good to confirm. So you're currently running 6.2.0 and do not update 6.2.1. So we're just going to say yes to this. And now Retrobat runs and it does the download um, 
in the background. Obviously, I'd recommend just waiting. I wouldn't. It's doing an update, so I wouldn't go and start <laughs> start playing games or anything while this is running. <clears throat> just be patient and let it let it download. It shouldn't be too big. Because, like I say, it's a it's a minor update. This one just to fix some issues. Um, and what might be worth doing is having a quick look at at the change log. So I mentioned this before about the wiki but the actual retrovat website as well has a change log so retrovat.org uh, you've got change log here at the top you can just see in the corner it's still downloading um, by default I think the guys that, that run retrovat are French um, even though some of it is in English it just you get the pop-up set to English or whatever language um, you require but you can see here you've got 6.21 at the top you can look at all the other versions and see what they added between the other versions, but right now we're interested in 621. So you can see it's quite small, not you know massive updates. Um, so it's added the Singe 2 emulator for the, the Daphne and Action Max games, which we had already added to the build manually, the Singe 2 emulator. So it'll be interesting to see, make sure that works okay. And that's one of the things I'll be I'll be testing. Um, and then there's a couple of updates. J Genesis can use the CLI execute instead of instead of the GUI. <laughs> what difference that makes, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and there's some updates to Dockstation and J Genesis as well. Uh, a couple of fixes, like I say, it's not massive amounts in here, but um, there was a couple of errors. Um, and obviously, these two systems are ones they added in 6.2, and by default, it didn't create the ROM folder. Obviously, as part of the build, because we cover every single system, we did create those folders, those ROM folders manually, so that they should all be there. Um, and obviously, Reminisce, this is the one that um, is the engine to play. Forgotten Worlds, I've forgotten. <laughs> I think it's Forgotten World, um, and then uh, the Devolution X is uh, uh, Diablo. Um, but anyway, there's a couple of other fixes here. You see, there's a couple of issues. Fix some options, etc., etc. There's some features. Added some screen layouts. Added some options in FB Neo. Duck station, an option to force a BIOS, which BIOS to use. It's all kind of quite minor things, I guess, but just obviously some issues they were having. Um, Casso Loopy was a new system that was added, I think, from 6.2. We've already added that in and, and scraped all the artwork, but they have added Screenscaper now because it was missing. So um, if you added more games for that, you should be able to scrape the artwork automatically now. Um, a wiki update for Techno Parrot um, and a couple of business. Uh, yeah. Align the hotkey um, for screenshots in some emulators. So yeah, so it's not a massive update. It's a few bits and pieces there. So probably worth doing it anyway. So it's now saying it's it's updated. It says reboot to apply. Although technically that's not reboot machine. That's restart emulation station, um, which basically what is what Retrobat uses. So if you were running something like Batasera, which is his own operating system, then you would need to reboot the system. But for here, all we need to do is go click back, click quit. It's going to close out. Now I'm going to go back in, just relaunch the XE. And you get a little updating. So obviously it can't replace some of the files while Retrobat is running. So it applies the updates, and then next time you start Retrobat, it will copy those files in place and then start. So I'll just give this a second. So that launches. We just to confirm that it's updated, we'll go into the menu, and you can see at the bottom here we're now running 6.2.1. So that's it. That's how easy it is to update um, uh, for this this minor update, and it's very similar to how you update you know minor minor versions as well from 6.1, 6.2, etc. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's that's the update. I recommend doing it. Just you get those couple of fixes and the updates just to make sure you keep current. That is the idea of this build that we want to want to keep it current. We don't want to kind of like just release it and let it sit there and then drift and get older and older and out of date and then become irrelevant. We want to keep updating it. So obviously this version, because it's quite a minor, the 621, you guys can go and just you know, install it. It's not 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 a big deal. Um, when it comes to maybe like 6.3, where they maybe at some point in the future release version 7, then they'll possibly be, a, you know, we'll release them like an update pack or depending on the changes, there might be a whole new full image torrent to download. But 
we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But like I say, yeah. Um, obviously, hopefully everyone's started to download now the uh, the build. Obviously, it might be a bit slow at first because it's a new torrent, so we're waiting for people to finish downloading before they can start seeding. We've got a couple of seeds in there at the moment, but obviously, if you think everyone jumping on is going to be uh, coming from those same seeds, it might be a bit slow. But bear bear with it. Check in the stats as you know, a few people are getting getting near completion now, so hopefully the number of seeds is going to go up, which is going to help everyone. And when you have downloaded it. Please, please seed as much as you can, as long as you can, just to help everyone out, everyone else in the same boat. So, yeah, and obviously, obviously we're seeding it effectively twice. You've got the, the public torrent, um, and you've also got then the private torrent um, on backups. Um, so we're basically, yeah, seeding it twice there. So, yeah, please bear with it, um, and it'll definitely be worth it once, once you get it. Um, like I say, any feedback, any comments, all, all welcome. Best place for that is, is going to be Discord. Um, there's information in the readme, obviously my YouTube channel, of, of the link for the Discord server. So yeah, jump on there, say hello. If anything else, <laughs> just to, you know, say whether you've got the build or not and it's working for you. Any issues or feedback would be great. And yeah, catch you on the next video.